can do all this also. This previous talks, how to maintain the physical, how to maintain the mental, to complete this. You should have all the good habits away from all the bad habits. Okay. This is also you should teach your children. If it comes to the next generation, they also will become good people. So the society will grow. Next is the spiritual. Uh, the spiritual health will depends upon your religion. So whatever religion you are following, that's no problem. Just just ten minutes. Daily ten minutes you should pray. Daily ten minutes you should meditate. If you follow these instructions, you will have the good health. Okay. The health is having four components. One is physical. Second one is mental. Third one is social. Fourth one is spiritual. You should have all these four components. Then you will have the good society, good individual, good man, and good woman. You will have the good life. Okay. Go your numbers. One million hundred years. Go about the hundred years numbers. Go and check your numbers. Thank you, sirs, for your wonderful speech. Now I request Dr. B. Anirudha, Principal Nehru Arts and Science College, to present a moment as a token of love to Dr. Agassi.
Welcome all of you back to the sixth session of this uh, marathon conclave. And uh, I believe there are uh, quite a lot here uh, who have been there from yesterday by 3 o'clock. Mr. Melosh, I believe he didn't sleep for uh, the, the past about uh, 12 hours and more than uh, 24 hours he's ready to wake up because uh, a request of knowledge. And uh, this session, this I believe is very wonderful going to be a skill upgradation for future managers. And when we talk about managers, it has got, I believe, nothing to do with the uh, MBA graduates or anyone. Everybody can be a manager and everybody is a manager. While talking about skill upgradation uh, or equipping with more skills, is it directly mean that there's no skill set with all of us? You have to be able to train, 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 train. And often we uh, listen to people talking uh, that man is perfect within. It's already a perfection within. So you are all having all the traits. They're all trainables. So the traits of all the qualities are there within. What do trainers do? The trainers will put you in the right track. Here you are. And this is what you are supposed to do. If I can learn driving, you can also learn driving. The trait of learning is there within. So what the trainers are going to do for you or how you scale up yourself. Skilling more. So I decide to skill myself. Nobody can stop me. And if I decide not to learn anything, nobody can make me learn. It's for me to understand, depending upon where I am supposed to go, what's my goal, and how I to be, and how am I to be skilled? How to make me skilled? And I believe uh, the wonderful panel out here, Mr. B.K. Gupta and Mr. Samir Barwa, Dr. Samir Barwa and uh, M.L. Peter. I believe these people are more self-trained than trained by someone else. When they, are, they were able to identify their strength, they were polishing their strength. Maybe listening to people, you listen to thousand people, you listen to 24 hours lecture for uh, empty number of time. I don't think you will become skilled. The moment you think, I need to improve upon, I need to introspect, I need to scale up, then things can happen. So wonders will happen only when you identify you are in a strength and try to you know, nurture your talents. In the olden days, we never had trainers. We cannot say who was trained our uh, management gurus as the so-called uh, legends in business. Nobody has trained them. You take uh, Dhirubhai Ambani, I don't believe he was trained by someone. He was asking himself, what should I be? How should I go ahead? How should I train myself? So I, in that context, I believe today the children, you do not have time to look at yourself. That's the main problem. And the uh, doctor was talking about health care. How many of you talk? No answer. How many of you think that health is very important for you? Difficult. How many of you play games every day? Tough to get right answers. We always play with uh, mobile games or internet games. So we leads to a lot of physical strain. And only when you feel you are physically and mentally fit, you can think of the endurance. And all these skill sets will teach you how to make you a better professional. You want to become a better professional, skill yourself. Whether you take skill from the trainers or you skill yourself, identify what the skill set that you require for the profession that you are going to choose for the career that you will build up. Once uh, BK Gupta feels that I should be a trainer, 
a guru for traders, then he should train himself. And if one happens to attend five times his training, the, the, the trainees will say every time he does the same thing, then he should understand it is for me to change. Change myself, the way in which I train, the dimensions of training that I look at, and what new trends are there. Training does not mean only physical health, any skill. Actually, we talk about Android, maybe in a couple of years, Android will be away. There will be something else coming up. So your skill to unlearn and relearn should be something that you have to always fix in your mind. The moment you feel I've done my MBA, I've done my BE, I'm done. You have not done at all. You have made a basement. On the basement, what you construct that is going to be a skill set, and every time you paint it, repaint it, polish it, that then you upgrade. So here are a you know a vibrant trinity to talk to you about how to upgrade yourself or the skill upgradation for future managers. I'm very happy to welcome Mr. D.K. Gupta. A transformer of lives. That's what uh, people call him, not he tells. The people who were trained by him, they tell that he's a transformer of lives. And what we think he's going to transform you, you are going to see him at the 30 minutes sign. And uh, he basically is a mentor, a trainer, a visit visiting faculty to University of the Netherlands a hardcore trainer by himself. I have great pleasure in welcoming Mr. Raj Kishore Gupta amidst this panel. And next we have a very dynamic person, Dr. Sami Barwa. Uh, he is basically an engineer, then a, an MBA holder, then a PhD holder, a mix and match kind of guy. And if you feel uh, BE is fully done, then why, why, where the question of MBA comes in and where the question of uh, PhD comes in? And what he does is he is the national sales manager of ITC, a person who always travels and a person who is very passionate about listening to people. So one of, the, one of the great traits of a good speaker is a person who does not miss chances to listen to people. Yesterday he was here to listen to the people, to witness how the inaugural session was. And he told, I will make myself comfortable, don't come behind me, put me in this hotel and arrange car for me, nothing. I will take care of myself. This is where the question of self-training comes, contented by himself. He's into some place he knows how to make himself mix with the crowd. So I'm immensely happy to have Dr. Sami Barwa who will be able to share a lot of things with you. Welcome. And uh, Mr. Eman Peter is the director of GI HR Solutions. And you can call him as an HR specialist who will be able to train and develop yourself, you, you all, and uh, he's a person who believes in policy and process training. So all, you know, policy training, how do you train people on policy? Or train policy makers and uh, how to make a process for a company or a production unit, whatever. So I believe from this outfit you will understand these people are very much specialized into training. I'm very happy to have all of them with me and I feel uh, very much blessed to be with them, to listen to them and uh, learn more from them. To start with, I would uh, welcome Mr. Uh, B.K. Gupta and our session is for about two hours and each speaker will have 30 minutes for presentation. 
and uh, questions can be at the end of session or at the end of each speaker. Or what do you prefer? If you have any question, do post the question. If you feel like posting the question immediately after the presentation, that particular speaker is over or end of the end of uh, the session where all the three speakers will finish. What would be better? First one, second one. Second one. That's fine. So we'll uh, do the presentation, and once the presentation is over, we can post the question. There will be uh, 10 minutes given to you. You can ask a lot of questions. And while posting the questions, never ever have inhibitions of what you ask. Ask anything that you feel like. It has got some kind of relation with the topic. Anything. There's no foolish question at all. If there's a foolish question, when Archimedes was telling Eureka, and ran away from the whole time. That should have been the most foolish question. Or when apple fell down, why is falling there? That should have been the most foolish question. So no question is foolish. The questions will lead to innovations. With this, I welcome Mr. B. K. Kishore, I mean B. K. Gupta to come out with his presentation now that as is all of us. Thank you all. has 
tremendous potential. True. But the question is not the potential that you have. If I give you a handful of grain, all the grain, my friends, have the potential to sprout and grow into plants and then into trees. But the question I want to ask you, do all the grains sprout? Can all the grains sprout? The answer is a big no. Only those grains will sprout which are put into the soil, which are nourished. Yes or no? So my friends, I'm not one of those speakers who will tell you you have the potential. I will tell you if you have the potential, that potential must manifest. You must not go to the grave with the juice inside you, with the potential inside you, my friends. Otherwise, you are wasting your life on this planet. We are all wasting our life on this planet. And therefore, one speaker yesterday asked you repeatedly, what is the purpose, what is the purpose, what is the purpose? This point is relevant to the point number one, that is upgradation. Upgradation is improvement, development, progress, marching towards excellence, and therefore, the purpose of your life